if that was weird on only my end or also if you guys saw that, but that was wild. I don't know what happened there. It glitched out a little bit, but hi everybody, welcome to the stream! <laughs> hi everyone! Koala and the Craft, thank you so much for resubscribing for the 19 months and the 15 months. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome on in. No, that was weird. It was weird. What happened? No, okay. What happened? <laughs> Yay, this time's pretty moving. I am here. I am awake. I am alive. I'm awake. I'm also awake, but I am alive. Hi, Lemon. Welcome on in. Resident Bard, Koala, Aqua Bear. Geek out, edge of fit, the lovely orange itis. I also saw an eldritch crow and a craft focus. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your day going? How is everyone's Thursday going? I I hear you're writing an essay, Koala, which sucks, but um, hopefully it's going well. If it was on a very, there was a free stream on Bree on Bree Saturday, and then the BRB screen. Why? <laughs> I, it. It was wild. It was a wild time because I was, I was trying to transition and the transition didn't work and it glitched out and froze and did weird things. So you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're we're streaming live and it's uh, things happen. Um, yes, LB lurk. Have a very very good lurk koala. Get that. Get your uh, get your essaying happening. Um, it's been a long time since I since I've had to write an essay, so I don't have a lot of. Um, a lot of advice other than, uh, don't care about the first draft. Just write whatever the fuck you want to write about and then go back and rearrange it and make it look nice. Just, just don't care. That's the best advice that I can give you. <laughs> oh no! Go eat some food! You can't, you can't do brain fuel, uh, unless you, you can't, you can't write, write without brain fuel. I'm apparently... That, that glitch really messed me up. R messed me up. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for the clip, Matt, about that glitch. I'm excited to see what it looked like on your guys' end. Um, but welcome to the stream, everybody! We are going to be working on a commission today. Uh, if you were here last week, last Thursday, you will know that we started this lovely tarot card commission that was commissioned uh, by the lovely Rainy Keys for Eldritch Crow. Uh, we are working on the chariot um, of his co of his uh, character, uh, I forget his name off the top of my head, but he he has a very cool TTRPG character whose card is the Chariot, and he is riding Cerberus in the West Texas forest. And what's cooler than that? What's cooler than that? Hey, Scribbler, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? And also, how's everyone? Th how's everyone's Thursday? I'm gonna take that advice for my dissertation. Take that, yeah, take that advice for Don't care about the first draft and then make it look good later. That's always how I did it. <laughs> His name is Chris. Chris. We are working on the lovely Chris today, who is uh, Eldritch Co's awesome character. East Texas. I'm gonna stop talking because I do not know what I'm talking about anymore, apparently. East Texas. I am from West Texas. It's in Texas where it's wet. I don't know where it's wet in Texas. I've never been to Texas. <laughs> I have no idea what Texas is or looks like. I've never been there. I am Barry Allen. I am the de uh, fastest man alive. I'll find some food. I believe in you, Koala. Have a very good lurk and good luck on your essay. <laughs> wet Texas. Yes, we are from wet Texas. <sighs> well, welcome to the stream. That was an interesting few minutes at the beginning there. Um, but... Um, we're gonna be working on this commission today. Mostly we're gonna be doing line art. It's mostly just gonna be us chilling and you guys watching me do a lot of line art. Because we got pretty much all of this sketch done last, uh, last week. We maybe got a few things to sketch out, but mostly we're just gonna be working on line art. Hopefully getting to base color, but we will see. I'm not entirely sure. Mostly it's gonna be line art today. Um. East Texas is the wet Louisiana side. Oh. Yeah, I should I should I should have known that. Geography and all. Um <laughs> Uh but yes. Uh that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get to that, real 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 quick, I just have a few quick announcements. The first of which is that there is a new goal for the month of uh November. I was almost going to say September. That is not where the month we are in. 
um, a new goal for the month of November. If we hit $400 before the end of the month, I will be um, expanding the Brigade Beast Jerry. I will be hosting a stream where we basically, uh, you guys are going to have all, just so many poll powers, and you guys are going to uh, suggest different things, i.e. different animals or different traits or whatever, and I will mash them together, and we're going to make a lovely, lovely normal bestiary entries that aren't god tier. Um, and I'll be spending, doing like quick 20 minute uh, sketches of those and we're just gonna be talking and talking about everything we love about how uh, making mythical creatures happens and our favorite mythical creatures and uh, how we like to, you know, maybe rant about D&D. We always, we always rant about D&D when we make new creatures. But that's what we're gonna be doing if we hit $400 at the end of this month. Um, this goal is a pretty much the best way to support me on my stream. Um, you can sub or give bits and or whatever. All of that still uh, is wonderful to support me. But this bar down below uh, is a Streamlabs donation bar. You can uh, do it via the tip jar down below. Um, there's a little tip jar uh, button that you can do and you can donate to me via Streamlabs. And it is the best way to donate to me um, as that is and support me in my streaming and Daniel's home and Ash left. Um, but it's the best way to support me in my streaming endeavors because um, I get 100% of the profits and slash proceeds from Streamlabs, whereas I only get uh, about half of that from subs. So I only get about 50% from subs. So uh, that is the best way to do that if you would like to support me. Uh, we have 18 days to get to our goal and we are quite a, while, a ways away. So if you would like us to get there and have a chaotic, bestiary uh, making stream at the end of this month, Definitely to go and do that. We'll be, we'll be, if we hit the goal, we'll be streaming on, um, I think November 30th, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> hey, Ellie, welcome on in, and Danny, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your Thursday going? My hair is so frizzy today. Uh, this is, this is gonna be an interesting stream. My hair is lit, so frizzy. Um, <laughs> Anyways, that's that. Um, I, there's also a new goal on my Patreon. If you don't want to support me via Streamlabs or uh, want and want to support me, and you get something directly back from it, you can. Sub I'm gonna just put my hair up because I cannot do this. My hair is way too frizzy for this today. It's gotten dry. It's gotten dry again, and like wet. It's gotten wet dry, if you know what I mean. Um, here in Minnesota, as it's getting colder. And now my hair is getting longer, and it's just so fucking frizzy. It's so frizzy! Anyways, um, if you want to support me and uh, get things directly back from it, rather than uh, a goal at the end of the month, um, you can support me on my Patreon. If you, uh, if you want to see uh, some things of mine for the Phoenix, or if you want to get fr uh, new uh, pages of the Phoenix a week early, or if you want to see behind the scenes stuff of the Phoenix, or if you would like to help fund a possible podcast that me and John will do if we hit $175 on my Patreon a month, uh, then you can you can go and check out my Patreon. Um, there is a whole bunch of tiers. You get a whole bunch of different rewards. That you've got at least a month or more's backlog of stuff to go and check out. So you should definitely go and do that. Um, that is all going to be that is all on my Patreon like right now. Um, but also, the more patrons we get, and the closer we get to 175, and the closer a uh, anthropology slash the Phoenix slash story writing podcast slash pretty much just memes podcast uh, will be created by the lovely me, by the lovely me and the lovely resident bard. Uh, if you want to know more about how we create the Phoenix, what goes into it, all, a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, definitely go and check that out and support me on Patreon. That is another great way to support me and all of the things that I do. The Phoenix, my sci-fi webcomic. Um, those are the two biggest things. I've got merch, uh, the Streamlab hoodie, uh, the Streamlabs, the Streamiversary hoodies are still available until December 1st, so definitely go and check those out as well. They have new updated wings, so you can soar with all of us. And, um, there's new, uh, merch in my Redbubble and Streamlab stores just in general, so you should definitely go and check that out. And I think that's all my announcements. There is nothing new yet. There is nothing new. We had all of- this is just still announcements from the backlog of the Streamiversary. <laughs> hey Liz, welcome on in! How's your Thursday going? Welcome on in. I'm glad you're not doing bad today, Ellie. That's wonderful. But yeah. There's- there's a lot of re really cool stuff on my Patreon. If you like my- if you like the Phoenix, 
Uh, supporting me on the, on my Patreon is a great way to support the Phoenix because that gets allows me to uh, spend the time that I need to to make the Phoenix even better. And why is my okay? It's Thursday, so we're having technical difficulties, guys. My screen keeps blacking out for no reason. What are you doing? What's happening? The work week is almost over. The work week is almost over. That's very true. It is gonna be, it's Thursday and then it's gonna be Friday and I'm real excited. Uh, this weekend is going to be, this weekend's gonna be chill, I hope. I hope so. It's been kind of a hectic week in a way. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Let's just draw. I don't know what I've done this week. Is that bad? I don't know what I've done. I feel like Brie, mine's been super hard to manage since it's gotten cold. Yeah, the colder it gets, the frizzier my hair gets, which makes no sense. So we're just gonna deal with like fun little curls in the back over here today. <laughs> I shaved my head two days ago. Ooh, I bet that feels very refreshing. I don't think I'll ever shave my head, but I am, I do really wanna cut it again to like bob height rather than shoulder height because it's gotten too long again. <laughs> Ooh, why are you waiting in line at the pharmacy, Danny? Alright, let's get that line art going. Pupper. There we go. Alright. Pole powers, you say? Uh, I'm very excited for the work to be over, Liz. I feel you. Well, how's everyone's Thursday going? Apparently, it was going really well for a while, and then like a few hours before my stream, my brain decided to turn off. So we're getting we're getting loopy Brie today. We're getting loopy Brie today instead of focus Brie today. So. Maybe we'll t maybe I'll maybe there'll be a lovely switch in my brain that turns me to focus free. But so far we're 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 on the loopy track. We're on the loopy track. Also, ugh. The, has the Thursday has been pog champ? I'm assuming is what you were trying to say. I'm glad your Thursday has been pog champ. <laughs> Loopy Brie is valid. Thank you. Thank you. I got a lot of sleep last night, and then I, uh, you know, went hog wild into working today, and then my, my brain was like, hmm, you didn't get that much sleep. And now I'm tired again. I've been singing Fly Me to the Moon all day, poll as evidence, and thinking about moon, moon jujitsu, so like, I decay what I am. <laughs> what is moon jujitsu? I have never heard of that before. Fly me to the moon, let me kick its freaking ass. Let me fly to fly me to the moon. Show you what I learned. Fly me to the moon in my moon jujitsu class. Fly me to the moon. Seriously, frick the moon. Jk, the moon is fine. No, you also missed the moon is haunted. I don't know, but I wish I. T are you sure? Hey, John, are you sure your uh, anesthesia wore off yesterday? Because what the fuck? <laughs> moon jitsu. <laughs> Is that a martial art specifically for the moon? Wait, 
Wait, is it related to Venusian Karate? <laughs> Lunar Combat. <laughs> oh boy, I need- I now need a fighting game that's just with moon physics. That'd be great. We did just hit 24 hours post anesthesia. It's anyone's guess as to whether I'm still loopy. I- I think- I think- I think you might be. Nah, <laughs> sounds like a regular John. Those are too- that's too cat-like to have them there. I shouldn't put the teeth there, that's too cat-like. Sounds like Halo Reach Griff Ball, 300% speed, 10% gravity. <laughs> Is that really a thing? I only- I've only like- There was a mini game in um, Overwatch for at least a little while where you were- um, You could uh, do battle in moon gravity, which, be, which would be really fun. That's sort of what I was thinking of, but more like less like Overwatchy style and more like- Street Fighter, where it's like like the 2D you're uh, fighting game, but it's in moon gravity. So it's more it's it's like try it's 2D, but trying to emulate 3D, which would be wild, and I would love it. Honest? Hey, okay, okay. Cerberus' face is- this- this face of Cerberus is actually looking pretty decent. I- even though my bra- my Brian is, um, not quite sure what's happening right now, I can still draw. So we are Gucci for the stream today. Yeah, that's the thing. You can only kill people from behind, otherwise everyone is invulnerable. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I, I know nothing about the Halo franchise other than the Brian David Gilbert video. And the fact that there is a mode where you can uh, have basically moon gravity and fight is the best thing I've ever heard. It's the best thing I've ever heard. Everyone moves at 300 uh, speed and has a gravity hammer that causes a fucking explosion that sends people or the ball flying. The ball is a bomb, and if you get it uh, in the enemy goal, it explodes, and you score a point. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Gravity Rocket League. Sounds good. I had to stop stream to get my drugs, but fly me to the moon and let me kick its ass as fucking- and kick its fucking ass. One of my favorite things in moon jitsu, moon jujitsu class is my favorite part. Oh my god, that's great. I mean, 
he John didn't put in the moon is haunted, which is a travesty because we all know that the moon is haunted. I even have I even st I even still have stickers that say the moon is haunted. And the fact that you didn't put the moon is haunted as one of those poll options is truthfully uh insane to me. Once again, dropping the ball on a Thursday. You dropped the ball last week on a Thursday. You're dropping it again. I don't care that you were just in the hospital. <laughs> there is merch. Are you talking about the are you talking about the moon merch or are you talking about just merch in general? Cuz I have both are true. I think the moon merch is sp exclusively on my Redbubble though. If there is moon merch, I think it's on my Redbubble. And if not, I have moon stickers that I think you can order on Redbubble. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm putting on blast. It's okay. I know that Thursdays are cursed. Even even Thursday poll options may be cursed. We've gone from having te technical difficulties to Brian problems on Thursdays. <laughs> Mark the words, go burr. I'll make the words. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> You've, 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 you've redeemed yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't, I did not expect you to do this. I appreciate it though. While I was roasting you, you were making another poll. <laughs> Thanks. Basically Rocket League and Halo. I was- I have never- I have never been good at Rocket League. I- I don't realize- I don't think I've, we've ever talked about Rocket League, really, on this stream. I have never once- Any game where you are a car trying to hit things into a goal, or like Lucio Ball in, um, Overwatch, I am terrible at those video games. <coughs> Ugh. Goodness. What is it? I wasn't sneezing at all before this stream. And now I am dry and my hair is frizzy. Never trust your body. I feel like you, uh, LG and Megan pull after Bailey Miles out of the hospital. I've played about 10. <laughs> Thank you. We all, we need to make sure that we all know that the moon is haunted. Haunted by what? Unclear, but it is haunted. Lucio Ball is in Overwatch? Yeah, Lucio is a character. Uh, Lucio is a character in, uh, Overwatch. So, uh, he ha there's a game mode where you can only be him, and you basically play Rocket League as him. I played about 10 hours of Rocket League, and it was all a struggle. <laughs> I played, yeah, I played Rocket League, like, a little bit when it first came out, and I was absolutely atrocious at it. And then I was like, this, this, I don't think this online game is for me. I'll, I will find something else to play with my friends. I, I don't think I'll be able to do this one. Good. A unanimous vote, we all think the moon is haunted. Good. That's important to me.
Wait, is no one sure the actual link of the Kick the Moon's ass tweet being sung? It's my favorite. I did not know. I did not know that that was, okay. So you were making a reference. I see. I did not know that that was a thing. I will uh, open that YouTube link and watch it later. Cause I, oh, had no idea that, that was a reference to something. Haunted by the curse it unleashed on the world by bequeathing its forbidden knowledge, Moon Jitsu. <laughs> yes, good. It's cur it's cursed because it gave the Earth Moon Jitsu, much like Prometheus giving us fire. Moon Jitsu, truthfully, was too powerful, and thus the moon was cursed. Have a good lurk, John. Thank you very much for posting these references and links for later. I will get caught up on all of these memes about the moon that apparently everyone but me knows about. getting in that hyper focus we're getting in that hyper focus guys maybe my brian will keep on keep on keeping on i believe in you Come on, puppers. I believe in you. Work with me here. I'm gonna- I'm trying not- I feel like I made this one's face a little too squished. So we may have to rectify that in the lines. But so far, middle head is looking great! Look at a cute- but look at this cute scary doggo! Look at you! You're doing great, my friend! 
Y'all scary boy. Oh, adorable. And also very scary. I will make sure that you have a, looks like you've got fire. I will, I will do so. I promise. The epitome of I will die petting something I shouldn't. I mean, truthfully, yes. We all like, oh, Cerberus is an adorable little doggo, but in, I mean, in mythology, he is guarding the underworld. He may be adorable, but if he wanted to, he would kill you. He is a guard dog. Just a little, little fire puppy. Little fire puppy. With three heads. Who's a scary boy? <gasps> you are. You're a scary boy. You're a very scary boy. So, does anyone have any cool uh, weekend plans happening? I am, um, I, do, do I? I think I might be, I might, I am going, actually, I am, I do, tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Today is Thursday. Haha. -ha. Um, <laughs> I do, actually. I'm going to be hanging out with a friend that I haven't seen in a very long time because of COVID. And we're, we're going to hang out for the first time in a long time. She hasn't, she hasn't been to my new house yet, so I am. Um, very excited to see her. It's gonna be great. I think that's about all I'm doing this weekend. But that's tomorrow, and I have forgot- I- Just like on Tuesday when I thought it was a different day, I also thought today was a different day. I- I can't tell time anymore. Daylight Savings has f truthfully fucked me up. Listening to the stream as I drive is so hard because I can't chat. Don't chat while you drive. What you doing? Uh, I mean, I appreciate you being here, but oh my gosh. Be careful. Your safety is more important. I'm planning to be extra lazy this weekend. Yeah! Go for it! I, I applaud you in your plans to be extra lazy. Um... I've- I've been trying very hard to take it easy, like, when I, like, at- in the night times, which- It gets late- it gets dark right before my stream starts now because of daylight savings, and it truthfully- That might be why I am just cannot tell time anymore, because it truthfully fucks me up so bad when, um- it gets dark right before I start streaming. I am not used to it, and it scares me. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, uh, over the past few days, every time I'm, like, done with, done with work. I say that in quotes. I'm never really done with work, let's be honest. Um, but what I'm, like, feel like I needed to, like, have my wind down time at night and or, like, it's, it gets dark. I try, have been in the past few days, been literally just lounging around in bed playing Animal Crossing. And it has been amazing. Listen, <laughs> listening to not watching, because I do a safe, so y'all be missing out on my excellent quips for a few minutes. Please take care of yourself. Don't, don't, don't crash, Danny. Hey, Cleona, welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to see you. How's your Thursday going? Welcome on into this line art, uh, this doggo line art extravaganza.
Hey JJ, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What, what, what brought you to this not revelation today? <laughs> I genuinely woke up today thinking it was Saturday and that I was late for school. And yes, I spent a solid five minutes panicking over both those things. <laughs> The fact that you're worried about being late for school and also it's a Thursday is truthfully amazing, Crow, and I applaud you. No, it's it's felt like, honestly, Crow, it's felt like a Thursday to me, too. I... I don't know, because, like, Tuesday, it felt, it felt like a, um... It felt like a Wednesday, and then so yesterday felt like a Thursday, even though I w didn't stream, and so today I kind of felt like it was a, th a Friday, but I knew I had to stream, so I, I was like, maybe it's a Thursday, it's a Saturday, and I'm like, ah, Brie, I'm 26 and haven't taken a class in four years. I, hey, I am, I am 23, and I also haven't taken a class in like two and a half years. Sometimes you just wake up thinking you have to go to school. You're always very- there's- there was- there was at least 18 year, not 18, like 16 years of your life where you are really worried about missing school. It's ingrained in you forever after then. It's ingrained forever. It's going well. Very busy. I had a long nap when I got home from class, though. Ooh, yes. Get that nap on. It is, it's getting cold. It is nap season. I am very happy for everyone that is getting naps in nap season. You all deserve it. Have a good lurk, Matt. Go get that stew. Have a good lurk. <laughs> I'm watching Sailor Moon Crystal and watching two of my characters fighting. Oh boy. Yeah, two of your fate. That'll do it to you. When you, in an anime, if you see your favorite characters fighting, you're like, ah, yes. My dormant attraction to these characters has surfaced. I understand. Pupper number two! Pupper number two! Look at him! He's so cute! Look at you! With your teeth bared and your cute little tongue! Oh! Oh! Adorable little bub! We've got pupper one and pupper two! It's like thing one and thing two. One, two. <laughs> what, what the fuck was my brain on? Your brain was on the, 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 the PTSD panic of school. I graduated in May and I've had a few panic moments where I think I'm supposed to be in class. I still sometimes have panic dreams about like missing exams. Or w not waking up in time for exams, or what have you. 
it's, it hasn't been that long for me, but, like, it's, it's been long enough. And it's like, I don't think, I don't think this will ever go away. I think I will be afraid of this for the rest of my life. That's always fun. Muscles. What a muscly boy. <laughs> I... Your guys' lovely conversation about going to get milk and never coming back is... I don't, has anyone seen the anime, um, sorry to bring it back to anime once again, um, but has anyone seen, uh, the anime Wagneria? Just curious if anyone knows the reference that I, that immediately brought my mind to you. It, <sighs> because it's very funny. If no one has, I will explain it to you, but just in case anyone gets my, anyone understands what I'm going with this. I look at Sailor Moon, uh, I look at Sailor Moon like I look at Fairy Tale in the sense of, uh, these characters are supposed to be minors, but in no way are they actually depicted as such. Yes. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's... Sometimes in anime you cannot actually, uh, you get, look at the characters with the... the age that they're supposed to be, because they're, they... They're not that age. People just are saying that they're that age for, the, like, the shock value. They're not really that age. That's not how that works. No, but color be interested. Okay, so, uh, in, Wa so in Wagneria, Wagneria is, uh, the, um, Japanese word for working. Um, it is a comedy anime slash manga, which basically a whole bunch of anime tropes are working in a restaurant together. Um, and, and, you know, they are all people and they all have their own personalities and they all, like, you know, do things. But they're all, they're all working in a restaurant together and over the various seasons they have, like, relationships and stuff. But, uh, specifically what I'm talking about, uh, there is an actual plot line where one of the reason, uh, there is, they have, like, a manager at this restaurant, but the manager is never there, uh, because the manager is often gone on a pilgrimage, um, to look for his wife, who, um, one day, who has literally ter a terrible sense of direction, and one day left to go get milk and never returned and you know that it's that sort of like oh i'm going to the grocery store and then they just never come back uh type of vibe however that's actually what happened she got lo the the wife legitimately got lost in the city <laughs> there to like a small town in like hokkaido or whatever she got lost in the city, and every time she randomly comes across a, uh, every time she, like, is wandering around trying to find her house, and she randomly comes across a grocery store, she buys milk, just in case the milk won't go bad by the time she finds herself, uh, finds home again, basically. And so she basically, this character, spends pretty much three seasons 
you randomly just cut away to her wandering around in various things, and sometimes different characters run into her on the street, and, like, she will, like, le like they'll be talking to her, and they turn away, and she's just gone. Or sometimes she comes out of, like, a man a manhole cover. Or uh, sometimes she falls out of a tree. It's great. <laughs> she's literally... She she went out to get milk, and she never came back, because she's lost. <laughs> and it's really great. <laughs> the best... I know! They use... Wagnery is really good, because they use the tropes really well. They use the trope... A lot of tropes really, really well. Um, like, one of the cooks is basically Sanji from, um, from One Piece. <laughs> he looks exactly like Sanji from One Piece. Yeah, it's, um, the other, one of the other managers of the restaurant is, uh, a Yankee, basically. She, uh, has a gang. Um, the, uh, one, the, the chief of the restaurant, uh, who, like, is the chief of, like, the serving staff carries around a katana for no discernible reason, and she's extremely ditzy. Um, there, one of the other cooks is, like, that, like, sadistic guy trope that has, like, his eyes closed all the time, and he knows everyone's secrets. Um, there's also, uh, the, uh, one of the serving staff is a girl who looks like a middle schooler, but she is actually in high- like, looks like an elementary schooler, but is actually in high school. She's very short, and she's very peppy and wonderful. Um, there is another one of the serving staff who is extremely androphobic, um, and punches any man she sees on sight. Um, <laughs> it's- there's a lot going on in there. <laughs> there's a lot going on in there, and it's- if you understand a, a, if you've watched enough anime to understand a lot of these like character tropes, it'll be very interesting for you to watch. I love it. It's one of my favorite animes. Anyways, I'll get back to drawing. You guys could just marinate on those facts for a little bit. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're home safe, Daddy. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Punch every man on sight is a choice. Yeah, you know how in a lot of in a lot of uh, animes there is an androphobic girl who is just really afraid of men for no reason. Um, uh, she's also she's really she's really afraid of men and is trying so hard not to be, but she's just punches every man on sight, and it's a whole thing. And a lot of the show follows her trying not to do that and her getting like more and more used to people, and it's great. Uh, but yeah. She's a very sweet person, in general, but her dad basically, like, scared her shitless of men when she was younger. Not because her dad was terrible, but because her dad, like, told her horror stories about men constantly type of vibe. There's a backstory to, like, all of their character quirks and things, but watch, watch the anime. It's great. It's very good. Oh, there was also another character who's a runaway, uh, uh, a, like, a teen runaway who, uh, pretty literally... Um, lies about everything about her, uh, and everyone is pretty sure that, like, her name is not actually her name, and she, like, she's, like, a runaway and stuff, and so they're just, like, letting her stay at the restaurant, basically. Um, and it's great. It's wonderful. Um, she's just kind of there. She's, like, in the attic a lot of the time, and is just kind of in the restaurant. And then, you know, the main character, the main character dude is sort of, like, the main, like, kind of seems like the typical, the typical look of, like, one of those, like, pervert characters in a lot of anime, where, like, they've got, like, the glasses and the very short haircut and just kind of, like, a length, a, a lanky build type of vibe, um, but he's not a pervert, he just really likes cute things, he's, like, he loves, like, his, like, favorite animal is the water flea because, like, the small, it's the smallest animal on the planet type of vibe, he just really likes small things, um, and not in, like, a gross way. He just thinks stuffed animals and things like that are cute. And that's, like, the main character. And 
He has a whole bunch of sisters that also fill a variety of tropes. There's like the goth one that can't walk because she's always tired. There's the lawyer who is in a, um, is in a, like a BDSM relationship. Uh, there's the drunk sister. There's the competent younger sister. It's wild. It's wild. It's a wild, it's a wild time. Which anime, I'm glad you could talk about, which I'm glad you knew I was talking about anime. <laughs> also, throw back to that last stream. My opinions on Sailor Moon Crystal have changed slightly, but I stand by original being better and to watch that first. I've never seen that anime, but now I'm curious. You should, it, it's, it was on Crunchyroll for a while. I don't know if it's still on Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll or not. It's, it's a fun watch. I want to rewatch it again, but I don't know if it's on a on a platform that I can watch it on. In a in the comfort of my own bed. I view it as a uh, I view it as a fantasy world where Japanese high schoolers are the same age as the actors they playing high schoolers in the 80s and 90s movies and shows. They actually like late 20s and early 30s. Yes, I I would agree with that. It's sort of like that monster prom vibe where they are technically in high school, but all of the characters are actually of age in some capacity, and that's that's sort of what I think of a lot for anime too. Like, I don't know why in Fairy Tale they think, like, Natsu, Erza, Grey, and Lucy, and a lot of ki a lot of characters are, like, 16 or around that age. Like, they don't have to be teenagers. They could be, like, 20-year-olds. And it would make so much more sense if they were, like, early adults. Personally. Just, they, per early adults can be just as stupid as teenagers. If not more so. And have a little bit more free w free reign. <laughs> this is slightly random, but now I'm picturing a group of parents that left to go get milk and ended up ended up in an adventuring party. <laughs> they all just got so lost and some and all congregated together. They're in that dimension that parents go when they uh, leave and get lost. The absolute lack of sense of direction, even if the destination is visible, is my favorite part of Zoro from the One Piece's character. <laughs> oh god, anime has the stupidest tropes and I live for them all. God. Well, it's about age, it's not even just anime. Anyone who's seen both Owl House and Amphibia, think about the main characters. Which do you think are older? I think... In terms of the Owl House, yeah, I think, I was gonna say that I think Owl House is older. Uh, mainly just because I remembered the ages, but, yeah. I remember, I remembered that, like, Amphibia was, like, early high school, late middle school, and I knew that Luz was in high school. Because the characters are about, are about two years older. Owl House characters about two years older than the Amphibia girls. Anne turns 13 in the beginning of the series, and uh, Scar turns 15 in one early episode of the Owl House. The war trauma g makes the frog girls seem older. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. Hey, Itty's Poet, welcome on in! How are you doing? How's your Thursday going? We're almost done inking Cerberus. Listen, you know your anime tropes back to front. It was a safe bet. <laughs> www.wagneria is different than Wagneria, but it's still in the same vibe of a whole bunch of, like, tropes work at a restaurant. It's different from what I just described, but it is also good. I don't know why Wag- 
Wagneria was on Crunchyroll for a while. I started rewatching Wagneria, and then like halfway through my rewatch, they took it off of Crunchyroll, and I don't think it's back. And I am very sad. <laughs> but yes, watch it. Good, watch it. Put it on your watch list. Also, pirate it, pirate Wagneria if you need to. Also, welcome back, Matt. Welcome back from your lurk. <laughs> I could talk about anime tropes for a very long time. Yeah, then the other Wagneria is not there. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. www.wagneria was, uh, is a, another comic made by the same, another manga slash anime made by the same person slash people. Same concept, different characters. Yeah, Mira Jane, Kana, and Urza are supposed to be 18. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're all, yeah, I was pretty sure that they were supposed to be 18, which is of age, but still, like, I'm pr pretty sure that I would I will put Mir Jane as older than both of those and then Kana as a little bit older at least make Kana 21 I don't know the drinking age in Japan but at least make Kana 21 and Erza also make her older <laughs> I don't know does that also mean that Jalal is 18 because that poor boy I cannot imagine going through that as an 18 year old <laughs> I have returned with stew. What kind of stew? What kind of stew are you eating? Oh, I, I mean, yeah, the whole thing they go through as children, but, like, having to, like, rectify that at an eight, as an 18-year-old, too, and, like, coming out of that as an 18-year-old is wild. Wild. I'm doing okay. Apparently people didn't know it was a holiday, so work was very stressful. We have, uh... Arby's coming to cope. Yes! Gets that get some good roast beef to cope. I'm sorry that people didn't know it was a holiday. Was it a holiday? If it was a holiday, I also didn't know if it was a holiday today. But get that good roast beef coping. You deserve it. There we go. That that makes more sense. That makes more sense than not anatomically. <laughs> Honestly, the problem comes up in the podcast. The Phoenix has some in there. The Phoenix doesn't have too many, too many anime specific tropes, but I mean, a little bit, a little bit. Sort of got that five-man band thing going on. Except that there are six of them.
I I would love, I mean, hey, John, if you do want to talk about anime tropes in the podcast, I would love, absolutely love it. Absolutely love to talk about anime in our Phoenix podcast. Also, Ash is back. I'm so sorry. I've deprived you of Ash content this whole time. Ash is back. Ooh, beef, beef roast, carrots, potatoes, onions, brown gravy with bread. That sounds like delicious stew, and that sounds amazing. I'm so glad you've got good stew. <laughs> if we don't talk about anime during the stream, who are we? <laughs> I mean, valid. I mean, Lucy has to be at least 18. They, they treat her whole deal of the amount of times Jason picked in bathing slash shower. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. They have to... They gotta be, it's so much more funny if you think of fairy tale uh, members as, like, college students than if you think about them as teens. Like, let the college students get wet and wild. <laughs> okay, SA is technically done, and I ate! Yay, Kumbala! Yes! Technically done is the best kind of done! Congratulations! I am a hobbit. I mean, a hobbit's a good thing to be. They have really good food. Oh, today, today was Veterans Day? I thought Monday was Veterans Day because they're making a big deal about it on Sunday football. Huh, well, I did not know. <laughs> I see. I mean, veterans, ah, ha, 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 America. <laughs> it's fine. It's the same vibe. I think in Discord, what people say when they mean comms day is commission day. They just, because we're working on commissions today. At least, unless I am mistaken, I think that's what comms day is. The Phoenix definitely draws uh, some of its layout action from manga too. No, for sure. We, I, a lot of my, a lot of my stylistic choices in the Phoenix are extremely manga based, a hundred percent, extremely manga based. But I don't know if I've never necessarily made the characters anime trope like. I maybe I have. I don't think so, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but no, the the way the layout and the way that I do the Phoenix for sure is draws a lot from uh how uh eastern media uh works. I have much more of a uh my my panel layout and the way I show action is much more uh manga based than it is uh western comic based for sure. <laughs> How rude. Hashtag Ash content. I'm sorry. You guys are getting the Ash content you deserve now. Aww. Hug Pua. You got it, John. I will get caught up in chat and we'll do a quick hug Pua. I mean, I think it's going to happen whether or not we try. So, like, might as well lead into it when it happens. 
Phoenix. Oh yeah, it's we're I'm branding this podcast as we're gonna talk about the Phoenix, but let's be honest, we're just gonna talk about the things we like in media. <laughs> let's be real. And if you want us to get to this, if you want if you want me to talk more about anime or anthropology or how comics are laid out, make sure to uh, become a patron on my Patreon so that I can get. So that we can get to our $175 monthly goal, and me and John can make a podcast just for you. ka -chow. <laughs> Are there canon ages of fairy tale? Technically, yes, but everyone in the fandom disregards them. They really don't- fairy tales' ages really don't matter. This one kind of looks like it's hacking up a lung, but yeah, it's okay. That can be the silly one. E every three-headed beast needs a silly side. Oh, everyone definitely has a star sign and a blood type in fairy tale. I mean, when the zodiac is that important in fairy tale, everyone's got a star sign. I do not know them, but I'm sure they do. I mean, definitely give side eye to a lot of anime creators. Most anime, they like to make, they like, they like to give people of not necessarily adult, of not necessarily of age, um, being overly sexualized in a lot of anime. I don't, I don't necessarily, I think, especially in like the early 2000s, I think only, possibly only recently the age of consent and the age of things rose in Japan, but, like, for a very long time, 16 was the age of consent in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Or, and things like that, or being considered an adult. You could also get married at the age of 16 in Japan for a while. I don't know if that's still the case, but a lot of, it has cultural things that are not as much as this. What's happening? I'm trying to describe, I'm trying to talk about Japanese th these things, why these things happen in Japanese anime, and oh my god, you guys are giving me money. <laughs> Lemon, thank you so much for resubscribing for 26 months. Oh, it just clicked over to subs day. 26 months just have flown by. Thank you so much for resubscribing, Lemon. Welcome back to Having Wings. And Dan Biss, <laughs> thank you so much for the $4.07. I moved the funny number to the other place. Ha ha ha! 19 19%, 19.69%. Nice. Thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> comms day. Celebrate your local comms officer like a Star Trek made up holiday. <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure it's for commission, but I really love that headcanon as it... A lot of us loving uh, the stream punks, I honestly love that you guys that you thought it was a Star Trek holiday. That makes me extremely happy. <laughs> oh, that makes me very happy.
<laughs> Patreon slash podcast. Add, add, ka-chow. Thank you for much clip edit. <laughs> Thank you very much for the clip, Matt. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, Wendy is 12. She's the youngest. She, I will say, yes, Wendy is 12. She's the youngest. She is not, Wendy is not really sexualized very often. Or ever? Not really at all. If, to my recollection, they don't do that with Wendy. She's, she's small. <laughs> That's what I assume. At first I thought community day, but uh, then I was like, but it's Friday today, right? Because I forgot it was actually Thursday. And then I was like, nope, props commission day. <laughs> Sometimes abbreviations are a detriment to communication. <laughs> Yeah, Romeo is also supposed to be 12. Why why does the 12-year-old boy have a six-pack IDK? Well, it's cuz he does a lot of working out, obviously. I will say my brother my brother had a six-pack when he was 12. Uh doing a lot of cardio and parkour and fighting will do that to a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> Got them little boy gains. <laughs> And malnutrition and dehydration. 100%. Yeah, we just hand wave the ages. They're unimportant and don't make sense. Anyways, yeah, they, they don't mean anything in the storyline at all. No, they don't have, like, school structures. It doesn't matter. There's only one of the three heads that's, that's a mess. Yeah, only one head can be truthfully a mess. Only one. The other two have to get their shit together. <laughs> Hades just said, drop it! <laughs> yeah, he. The, I'll, I'll just draw a stick being dropped out of his mouth. Also, not to bring it back to Sailor Moon, but they really leaned into the gender fluid aspect of Haruka and Crystal. Ooh, that's awesome! I did not know there was a gender fluid aspect, and I love that. <laughs> Money! Money! Thank you, Koala! <laughs> 16 is the age of consent in Ohio. Yeah! Yeah. 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 <laughs> the fun donation game is to always have 69 in the number. Yeah, we went- we went quite a long time without having 69 in the number. You guys have- you guys have been slacking. You guys have been slacking on the funny number in the donation bar. Where where's the funny number and even number crew? <laughs> oh, she becomes Officer Bree Quick Doodle. Oh, John, thank you so much. That is oh, I'm excited to draw that at the end of the stream. More 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 goblin me being absolute chaos. We love to see it. <laughs> hey, Rainy, welcome on in. How's your Thursday going? It's great to see you. We've gotten this far <laughs> today. We're about halfway through. We've only gotten this far. Mainly, I've been distracted by anime, though. So, can you really blame me? <laughs> I mean, she wears... She Sometimes Wendy will wear a bikini for, like, beach episodes and stuff, but, like, as a 12-year-old girl, I really wanted to wear a bikini, so, like, it's fine. I feel like there's one bad guy, but otherwise they leave Wendy alone, thankfully. Yes. Yes. Very much so. I never, in that, I never really, like, got the sense that there was a, that there was any sort of, like, romantic tension there at all. I never really got that. I know a lot of people re read it as such. I... I never got that, but maybe on a rewatch I will understand what people are talking about. I knew a guy with a six pack at like five years old. Really? At five? That's that's scary. Also, first club, welcome on in. Hello, hello. Oh, and yeah, as usual, I've been here the whole time just lurking. Well, thank you so much for the lurk. Welcome on in. Yeah.
Yeah, she yeah she is a member of the butt jiggle. But the thing, the butt jiggle gang isn't sexual. The butt jiggle gang is just funny. <laughs> it's not sexual at all. They're literally covered from head to toe. They just all have big butts, and it's hilarious. <laughs> It's not sexual, it's just funny! <laughs> Ab abbreviations are detrimental to comms, one might say. No! No! <laughs> Don't keep confusing people, Edgefit! Look, Godfrey, the starfleet yellow uniform. Are you- as John, are you- are you trying to make Godfrey a, uh, a, a yellow shirt? Are you- are you trying to make me get killed off? What is this? Do you have some sort of ulterior motive here? I thought we were running a farm together. What is this? <laughs> Skitters into the back end of the gremlin nest unseen. No, Rady, don't go. You've been seen and you're wonderful. Thank you very much for the lurk. Thank you very, very much for the lurk, Rainy. I'm so glad that you are here. Yeah, Haruka is gender fluid, and so are the Sailor Stars. Uh, but I haven't gotten that far. Ah, that's so cool! Ah, gender representation in anime is the best thing ever. I'm so happy. Love it. Heck yeah! Body time. Body time. Do 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 body time. <laughs> John Blinn is a stowaway that everyone chooses to ignore. <laughs> I could get behind that. I could- Oh! <gasps> continued with John Blinn also! First clone, you got it. Thank you so much for that continue. <laughs> Haruka dresses both the man and woman throughout Crystal. Ooh. I don't know if it's a villain. I- I'm not entirely sure. JJ, I think it was Mest, Mest, who used, who was a, like, a government boy and then defected, maybe, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't remember. I, it's been a bit. I, he, he also was unimportant. He's extremely unimportant to pretty much everything. This little guy and Gabri sh go, uh, shows him how to work their replicators to get snacks. Oh, I love that in, I love that even in, uh, I love that even in, um, this fiction, you guys have decided that, uh, John, uh, Gobri is way more competent than John Blinn is, and to that, I appreciate you. Ramen Blast, welcome on in, thank you so much for the follow, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for, uh, giving me the gift of... Letting me know that you think my, uh, goblin character is much more put together than John's. I love it. <laughs> Anime is an excusable distraction. Noble, even. Thank you, Ellie. Wait, are yellow shirts the new red shirts? They've been the red shirt- they've been the new red shirts since, uh... 
Since Picard. I'm pretty sure. Are you... What? Did you not know this? You knew that comms officers were yellow, but did you know that... Because... But in... Because the red shirts were like comms officers or engineers or things like that in... Uh, those were the red shirts before, and now in Picard's era with Next Generation, everything's yellow. They were all yellow. Did you not? John, come on. <laughs> I don't even watch Star Trek. Come on, dude. <laughs> I wish my new emote was approved. It will be by Saturday. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited for your new emote. I'm so excited for you. John has another emote, guys, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you for coming in, JJ. Have a good time watching Sailor Moon, and thank you very much for continually distracting me um, from actually drawing with anime chats. You are the best. Yeah, putting the captain in red was definitely like a was definitely like a big dick energy move for TNG. <laughs> Have a very good proper lurk, lurk rainy. Thanks so much for hanging out. Don't worry, John Lynn can be wearing a red shirt. He stole from laundry because it's old uniform, not up to codes. So we're both in danger. So you're both in danger. Good. Yes, I like that. I'd rather us both be in danger than me being marked for death. Yeah, see, that was, that was the, I, I read that the same way, JJ. I just read that the same way. I thought it was very par parent, parental or older brothery because what is this child fighting for? <laughs> Gabri is significantly less chaotic than John Blin, but is still pretty chaotic. True. I mean true. Gabri got into Starfleet, John Blin got into the ship, so, you know. <laughs> Gabri completed Starfleet. Somehow. I mean, I guess in our in our uh, Stardew Valley canon, that kind of makes sense since I'm the one that has the most Stardew knowledge, and I know, um, <laughs> and I know uh, what we need to do to complete the community center. So I guess that makes sense. And I'm the best at the egg hunt. I'm th I was the only one that was able to get the straw hat. That makes me the most powerful goblin. Alright. We are almost done with the body of the person. 
Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We just have to do the background, but we will do that when we come back from break after we're done with the body. <laughs> John escaped the jacket. How could John escape the jacket? It's our got along jacket. Oh, Mom! Thank you so much for resubscribing for 26 months! Welcome back to Having Wings! Teen <laughs> G invented a new type of red shirt. The reusable red shirt. He's called Worf. I mean, you know, valid. Absolutely valid, Orange. How many times did O'Brien and Kim have to suffer before you realized? <laughs> You know, true edge of it. Have a good lurk, JJ. I live to cause chaos and talk anime. Yeah! <laughs> TNG changed it because, oh yeah, I saw that. But operations is yellow, which is why engineering and security is yellow. Yes, yes. Operations is yellow. Thank you very much for that crash course, Matt. I appreciate it. Just two little guys marked for death by their shirts. Hey! Oh my gosh! A Shadistro! Welcome on in! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome on in! It's so great to see you! It's been forever! Welcome! How's your Thursday going? We're talking anime. Uh, now we're talking Star Trek. And uh, we're talking anime, Star Trek, and goblins. Never, never, never apologize for being a dork, Orange. We're all dorks here. Hi! Hi, Shadistro! Sorry, I'm, I'm getting slowly caught up on chat. <laughs> We're gonna be taking a break pretty soon here. I just gotta figure out... We're gonna, we're gonna take a break after I victoriously draw this character's hands. That is my criteria for taking a break today. I will- I'm going to have to draw these- this character's hands, and then I am allowed to take a break. <laughs> mm, the want to drag crow in is strong. To this stream, Rainy? I think Crow's already- I think Crow's already- Crow's been here, Rainy. Uh, Crow's here in the background, lurking, I'm pretty sure. Also, is John Blinn a stowaway or enlisted? Conflicting ideas. Is he wearing an old red shirt from original series that's a little too big for him? <laughs> I love that they have the old- I love that your- your thought process is that they have the old uniforms just in the back somewhere on every starship. I need to watch the new Star Trek Prod Prodigy show. I do too. It looks really cute. And that's that's the one that Bonnie's in, right? I'm pretty sure. I think he's lurking. I don't know. I don't know if he's been looking at the chat recently. He was here in the beginning, at least. At work. <laughs> ah, valid. Valid. How's work going? amazing. Prodigy is fun. Really? It's on Nickelodeon, right? It's on, it's on, is it on Nickelodeon or am I mistaken? <laughs> I 
I'll have to bow out here in a sec. Just wanted to pop in and say hi. It was been, it's so awesome to see you, Shadistro. I'm really, really glad you were able to pop in. Thanks so much. If you gotta, if you gotta bow out and lurk because of work, completely understandable, but thank you so much for popping in. It was lovely to see you. Bonnie is the ship's voice. Oh, that's very cool. Okay. Well, then I must watch Star Trek Prodigy for the Bonnie. I just finished page 76 of the black and white ether rules. So I've been a, a busy lurky burb. Congratulations on finishing page 76. That's amazing, El uh, Crow. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, girl wonder and welcome on in. Oh my gosh, so many people are popping in today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's your Thursday going? That's honestly really cool, Crow. Congratulations. I'm glad you've been a busy, lurky burb. You're doing great work. I do not, I do not have Paramount Plus. I do not have Paramount Plus. There is way too many streaming services and I do not have it. So I may have to pirate it, but that's okay. This sounds like Conan Gray. Which sounds like Conan Gray? The song or what we're talking about? I haven't felt like myself in like a week. Jet lag sucks, but I finally got important stuff for, sorted out and helped my grandma with her uh, day eight COVID self test. Congratulations, Anne, that's wonderful. I'm sorry that you haven't been feeling like yourself, but yeah, you just, you move, you just moved like so, so much, so much. And I completely understand that. <laughs> Are you telling me to go on break, Rainy? I am trying. I am. <laughs> I said I can't, I will go on break after I finish these hands. I told you. I I have I have a criteria. Okay, I'm in dire need of a nap, so I'm gonna hop out. I'll be back if you're still on by the time I wake up. Have a very good nap, Crow. Thank you so much for hanging out, and have a very good lurk. Get that rest you deserve.
Is it too, it's, de it's never too early to get into pajamas, Danny. Get into those pajamas. Get into those jammies. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> get into those jammies. Those jammies deserve you. When I was a sub, I would literally come home at like uh, 3.45 p.m. some days and put on my pajamas. As is your right. As is your right as a sub. You deserve it. Now I gotta see what this side of the hand looks like. able to pop in for a little bit and see what you're working on. You're the dragon that you've been working on so far is looking absolutely amazing. Um, I will zoom out for so the raiders can see what I've been working on. Dun, 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 dun. We are working on a lovely uh, tarot card commission for the uh, Rainy Keys and Eldritch Crow in chat um, of uh, Eldritch Crow's character who is riding a Cerberus. <laughs> Blinks the eyes. It was good. I'm glad it was good. <laughs> I saw good. I'm glad. I, I I was able to pop in for a little bit. I'm glad you had a good stream. Welcome on in, everyone that came in with Allie's raid. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bree. I am a digital artist here on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I do tarot cards every Tuesday. I do commission work every Thursday, and I do various miscellaneous fun things every Saturday. <laughs> Hey, Brie! I walk him right at the madness! Hello, CDOT, and hello, Ursula! Welcome on in! How's your Thursday going? And also, everyone that came on the raid, how is your Thursday going? Welcome on in, and welcome to the brigade. Uh, ooh, tarot cards! Yes, I've been doing a lot of tarot cards every Tuesday. It's been really, really fun. It's been really fun. We've been making a tarot deck with the community. This is also technically a tarot card commission as well. It is the chariot card, though it is not going into... Uh, the Brigade Tarot deck that will hopefully eventually when I finish it become an actual deck for you guys to purchase and get. Um, but Ali, uh, if you have anything that you would like to share, socials, or if you want to share what you're working on today, please put that in chat because I want to 
shout you out to all of the amazing people that are watching me today. Because if you are not following Allie, everyone, what are you doing? She makes amazing fantasy art. You 100% should uh, give her a follow. She also draws dragons like nobody can. She is absolutely amazing, and you guys will absolutely love her. Give her all of the love and all of the follows, everybody. Thank you for the raid. All of the shoutouts to her as well. Uh, you can check it out. We already got a shoutout, but all the shoutouts. <laughs> I'm simply vibing today. We're all vi- it's- it's a sort of a vibey Thursday. <laughs> if you don't want to share anything, that is totally fine, but, um, if you would like to share, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> We're honestly gonna be taking a break pretty soon here, but, um, also, also, everyone that came in with- everyone that came in with, um, the raid today, make sure to hit that live button so that, uh, Twitch counts your view, because sometimes Twitch doesn't like it when raiders come in, so. If you would like to stick around, lurk, uh, be a uh, be a part of chat, uh, and see what's going on, make sure to hit that live button. <gasps> yes, smooshy dragons. Oh, <gasps> this is not a dragon, but this is also amazing. I I think I saw you working on this, or I am just fully losing my mind. But this is gorgeous. Okay, we're just gonna. Look at this! Allie is like a top tier fantasy artist. She is so cool. Look at this freaking tiefling and the way you did the, the, the rendering on everything? Ah! So pretty! So, so pretty! Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So good. And I accidentally closed. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Smooshy Dragons. How many cards have I completed? I think I've completed around. I think, in terms of completed, I think I've completed 12. And I think we've started between 15 and 16. So, not super far into the deck. And we've been doing this for about a, um, a year at this point. So, it's, it's, it's been a bit, but hopefully, hopefully soon I'll be, I'm going to try to make, uh, a new, in the new year, a, new, a way for make this to go a little bit faster. <laughs> yes, and thank you very much for gathering all of the places to go, uh, follow Allie. Give, give Allie all of the follows, everybody. Allie's amazing. I love, I always love coming into your streams. I always love coming into streams and seeing all of the awesome dragons and stuff you do. Gonna clean up some of my tabs here now that I am actually looking at some of the tabs. One second, just gonna clean up the tabs real quick. Hides! <laughs> Don't hide! But I, I'll, I'll stop blush monstering you, Allie. I'll stop blush monstering you. Thank you so much for the raid and trusting me with your community. I really appreciate it. And welcome on in, everybody. Um, I, uh, we're drawing some, we're doing this fun tarot card stuff today. I don't have any other cool uh, other way to uh, say it other than we're doing cool tarot cards today and you should totally stick around and uh we're going to be when we come back from break going to be lining uh the backgrounds and hopefully maybe get into doing some coloring but we we lined this cerberus today and the boy on top so stick around if you want to hear me talk hear us talk about goblins star trek uh, anime, Animal Crossing, various things. And, uh, watch me try to figure out how the fuck hands work. <laughs> it's always a struggle. Also, 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 um, just as a cheeky plug, I also have a Patreon if anyone is curious and if, um, anyone coming with the raid wants to follow me on any of my socials. All of the links are down there. You can follow me at and to see all of my cool art. A lot of my art I post on Instagram. I also post a lot of my stuff on Twitter. 
Um, I also have a Discord and a Patreon and a whole bunch of other things. So find all of my links down below if you want to check me out. And like what you see. <laughs> Alright, let us ink these hands real quick. We're gonna ink these hands real quick and then uh, I promise I will go get some water and take a self-care break. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Complete off topic, but something I love about the new DLC oh, of Animal Crossing is now I can make all the villagers on my island, like, fit the locations the houses are supposed to be and put all the villagers are actually, like, on Happy Homes Islands. Oh! I haven't gotten very far in the new uh, DLC yet. I bought it and I basically finished the tutorial and that's pretty much all I've done so far with it. I haven't gotten very far. I'm liking it so far, but... I've been mostly redecorating my island and trying to gather gyroids because I love gyroids with my whole heart. Just one more thing. It's always just one more thing with me, isn't it, guys? I just really want to get these hands done so we have the hands done, you know? I just want them to be done. They don't have to be good because they're small, but still. I don't want them to look like shit. <laughs> Matt and I high-fiving at the chat commands. Thank you, mods. Thank you very much. Also, a C dot and 7 C Ursula. You also popped in when the raid happened. How is your Thursday going? Tell me all about it. What is up, my lovely friends? Thursday is great. I'm glad. That's amazing. Not cursed on your end? That's always good to hear. Stop making this hand look like a foot free. Goodness. No stream tonight, but I haven't really been streaming these past couple weeks, so that's normal. Just get back into it on Tuesday. I, I'm glad you're taking a break. I don't know if it's for work or for self-care or whatever, but I'm glad you're taking a break. That is extremely important to do. <laughs> I'm actually very excited uh, to have an, an actual vacation that's not just a staycation uh, that I'm going to be going on soon. I am very excited. I'm going to be leaving for Thanksgiving and going to somewhere else and I physically cannot work and that's going to be absolutely it's gonna be so nice. Due to failure of my understanding of geography, it is somewhere on my island, the Southern Hemisphere. I am basically on Australia's seasons on my island. I feel like a lot of people in here uh, did that just for the lulls. But that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of summer in the winter time, you know? I used to. Rushing to make dinner before early D&D today, but aside from that, uh, was a good since Ali was working on the start of my dragon. <gasps> that was your dragon today? 
Oh, with the gold horns? That was your dragon today, Ursula? That's so cool! I did not know it was that was your dragon. That's awesome! That sounds like a great day. Oh my gosh. Both-ish? Understandable. I mean... Self-care and work, making sure that you have enough time to do, like, the work that you want to do is extremely important. Streaming is, can be a full-time job if you let it be. So if there's work that you'd rather be doing rather than streaming, focusing on that is a form of self-care as well. Just gotta rewrite it exactly like this tomorrow and sure I'll get full marks. Ha 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 paid. <laughs> Good job, Koala, you, go you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. Alright. We're gonna take a quick break. I have stalled long enough. We are at the two hour mark. I promise, I promised chat that I would take a quick self-care break. So I'm going to. I'll be back in like five minutes to go dewater, rewater, and grab a snack. I will see you all very soon. And um, don't go anywhere. Because I'll be right back for more, for more line arting and chatting with you all. Thank you so much, Allie, for the raid again, and for everyone that's uh, sticking around. Thank you so much. You all are lovely, and welcome to the brigade. See you in like five minutes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am back. I, Ash followed me to the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> but hello, everyone. Welcome back from break. Please tell me you guys took care of yourself. If you haven't, go take your meds. Go to the bathroom. Go get some water. Oh, hi. She's back. I won, Daniel. I know you're watching. I won. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Welcome back from break. Please take care of yourself if you haven't. Um, and welcome, welcome back. <laughs> hello. Well, it is now time to keep doing the lovely line art, shall we? I believe in us. I think we can, before, I know we've got, like, about an hour or so left in the stream. A little less. And then we also have to get a quick doodle under our belts. So, it's speed lining time. And luckily, a lot of the line art for the background is just straight lines. So I'm feeling confident. <laughs> So we can finish the line art today and maybe get some base coloring in. Cross our fingers. <laughs> hey! I got just got home. I need to recharge, but hello, Elle. Hello, all. Hello, Amethyst. Welcome on in. How is your Thursday going? It's great to see you. All right, let's get caught up on chat. <clears throat> she's making him into an. Oh, she's making him into an oil painting, and this is him after his ascension. Oh, the dragon? <gasps> That's so cool! I'm very excited to check it out whenever it is done, Ursula. That is super cool. Dragon Ascension. So sweet. It's been long. What have you been up to, if you want to talk about it? If not, don't, you don't have to. Just curious. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> I hope you made, I hope you decided to make a hot chocolate koala. I've been having some hot chocolate recently, and it's so good. <laughs> I love hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate season, and I love hot chocolate. I might make some hot chocolate tonight, honestly. When, so, I I'm think I think what I'm going to have for dinner tonight is leftover potato soup from the, uh, from the Samhain celebration this weekend. And hot chocolate, and possibly some other warm, hearty food, because I feel like that would be, like, a very good accompaniment to watching Critical Role tonight. I think that'd be good. I think that'd be- I think we need that hearty food after what happened last week. It 
had to run errands out of town and had an appointment, so I'm sore. Ooh, that is a lot of, that's a lot of running around Amethyst, so I understand it wanting to take a time to recharge. Do I make my own hot chocolate mix or is there one you like? Daniel has made hot chocolate mix in the past and we used a lot of it last year, but I also have a, I have a variety of hot chocolate mixes from years and years of collecting them. My favorite one though is uh, Giordelli. I really, really love Giordelli hot chocolate mix. Um, probably because whenever I go to Disney World, um, whenever we go to, there's a shop in downtown Disney in Disney World that is just a Giordelli chocolate shop. And even if it's like the, even if it's hot as hell, I will order a hot chocolate from Giordelli because it's so fucking good. And I try to replicate that as much as I can at home. <laughs> it's really, really good. Sometimes I also put a little bit of like, uh, like Mexican hot chocolate, like a little bit like a little spiciness hot chocolate in there as well. Just a little pinch. It's all, it's very good. I kind of have, I'm sort of a hot chocolate mixologist. I have a lot of little packages of hot chocolate of various bouginess. Um, and I kind of just dump them all in depending on what flavor I want today. <laughs> Or do you scratch make it with milk and cocoa? I I don't scratch make it, but I do make it with I I only ever do a uh, hot chocolate with milk. I rarely ever do hot chocolate with water. Always always with milk. But I have the uh, I have the luxury of not being lactose intolerant. <laughs> the first one you did. The first one we did of Cyril, that's the dragon, was of his pre-ascension form. I have a pic of it. <gasps> I would love to see it, Ursula. That'd be amazing. Please, please, please show me. That'd be so dope. Yes, love spicy. Oh, spicy hot cocoa is very, very good. Have a very good lurk, Amethyst. I'm gonna lurk and lay down, but just wanted to say hi. Thank you so much for saying hi. It was lovely to see you. Go take care of yourself. Thank you so much. This is uh, this is what Allie did, right? Yes. Okay. See, this. I'm pretty sure this is Allie. I saw this picture on Allie's uh, Twitter. This is amazing. This is like the stars in the wing. Oh my god! Allie does such good work! This is so- a freaking star dragon! I love it! Oh, I'm so excited for the ascended form after this is just pre-ascended. Oh my god. Freaking dragons, y'all! Dragons! So cool! Thank you so much for sharing. He's a corrupted red dragon. Corrupted by the stars? Is he an eldritch dragon? Got to let go. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like an empty, like, a Magic the Gathering playmat or, like, a D&D, uh, dragon. That's so cool. I know Allie does, I think Allie in the past has done, um, art, I'm not sure, I think for D&D books before, so if that looks any, any similar, it's possible that Allie did that. Because Allie's amazing and does amazing fantasy art, as I've said. Low cow slash low carb, low carb hot chocolate, unsweetened oat milk, Hershey's, 100% cocoa, cinnamon, real vanilla, stevia. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. That's a nice low cal option. This is gonna get confusing if I don't color them in as I go, so I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of coloring them based on how close they are to the camera because it's gonna get real confusing if we don't have some sort of depth here. He got corrupted slash changed by a fallen star, which is in like, which is in actuality the divine spark from a long dead deity that was devoured by an outsider. Wild and I love it. It ripped the spark from its chest and threw it away to prevent the outsider from gaining its power. She's actually made him into a playmat recently. <gasps> oh, so cool. So cool. She's done some various work for Arcadia for the Sierra Teldori art book, uh, so that you can't show that yet. And no, no MTG art yet, although that is her goal. I, I'm, she will get there. I'm 100% for sure. That is so cool. Allie, I know you're probably still lurking, but you're so cool. <laughs> I got distracted by Minecraft. I'm gonna make hot chocolate in a sec. How- how has Minecraft been? How is Minecraft treating you? Uh, koala. I am glad that you're having fun. Thank you, Orange. We're getting there. We're getting there so far. The background's gonna look a little wild before we get to the finished product, but we're getting there.
pretty good. I have a town with a bunch of my friends, so we w went on and did a bunch of housekeeping stuff. Now I'm gonna make hot chocolate and write in my essay over and over again. Yeah! Oh, man. I miss high school. <laughs> Life was so much simpler then. emergency vehicle of some kind. It doesn't, I know it doesn't seem simple, but having only, the only thing I have to truthfully worry about is sometimes is doing Minecraft ho housekeeping and do Minecraft housekeeping and writing an essay on time. Seems, seems like a simpler time. <laughs> Being an adult has its perks, and also at a lot of drawbacks. <gasps> Ooh, please do, Ursula. I would love to see the work in progress of the ascended form of that dragon after I itch my eye so much. Ugh. I'm barely keeping the place. Then think how I feel, Koala! <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. I understand. I just miss writing essays, to be honest. I was actually pretty good at it. Ten minutes of Minecraft was my only break all day. Oof. Well, that does suck. That sucks. That's no fun. I'm not speedy. <laughs> Ooh! Wow! That's looking gorgeous! The gold is really coming along, wow. I'm very excited to see this ascended form finished. Very, very pretty. Doing what I can to push her forward. G uh, yes, of course. Oh my gosh. Once again, everyone please go give, everyone please, 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 please go give all of the love and all of the follows to Allie Briggs Art on all of the socials and all of the Twitch. She does such amazing work and deserves all of the love that she, that you guys can give her. She's so cool. Thank you so much for sharing all of her awesome art, Ursula. Okay, I have procrastinated long enough. Back to commission! Good luck, Ellie! We believe in you! <laughs> I'm definitely not like that. My best friend is exactly like that! Yeah, I I went hard on essays. I I did way too much work on them. I, I was that kind of person. I, I've always been an overachiever.
After these three are done, I am definitely taking a portrait break. Yes! You deserve it. You deserve it. What are you working on right now, uh, Ellie, if I may ask? If you're not in NDA world. We've, I mean, with someone working on an essay, we've really racked up that teacher counter, huh, John? We've talked a lot about essay writing today. It's, on, it's only fair. Alright, I think we're gonna get some, at least, I think we're gonna get a little bit of base coloring in. We haven't technically finished all of the lines yet, but most of the lines we still have to finish are detail work. So I think we're going to start with the quick base color for the for 10 minutes, and then we're going to end with a quick doodle. We're, get we're getting close to the end of the stream, y'all, and I would like to get a little bit of color on this. So, let's get started. We did ever hug the pig. You're right. I got we gotta hug the pig. I'm very sorry that I forgot about hugging the pig. It's an absolute travesty. I've just been trying so hard to hyper focus on the lines that I forgot. <laughs> Two dog portraits and a kitten portrait. Aww. <laughs> That's very cute. That's adorable. Photorealism and watercolors. That sounds hard, though. They might be adorable, but it sounds difficult.
No, we'd be hugging Pua. This is Pua, our lovely pig. Our lovely, very huggable pig that I will be... I will be giving a little hug to before the end of the stream. Ooh, exporting clip edit. Is that my lovely Patreon boost? Because, thank you. <laughs> my bank just emailed me concerned about some unusual activity on my card because I bought a $100 hoodie and now the shopper's guilt is settling in. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Nothing, nothing like a call from your bank to give you shopper's guilt. Jeez. Oh yeah, Moana is for sure one of my favorite ever Disney movies too, C Dot. We've got a love we've got the lovely Pua here with us. Legally distinct pig, but yes, 100%. He is my um he is my biggest my biggest uh hug most huggable plushie. So we've got a little bit of a, a hug Pua redeem. That's not for the redeem, that's just for me. <laughs> And did it spikes? All right, and then we will do the trees, and then we will get we will the hug pua, and then I will get things situated and ready for the quick doodle. Okay, I need sleep. Good night, I'll have fun coloring and doodling. Thank you so much, Edge Fit. Thank you so much for hanging out, and have a very good sleep. Bye. Time for D&D. &D. Have a great rest of your day, Bree. Thanks so much for hanging out, Ursula. Have a very good time at D&D. &D. We're almost done with the stream, so you're not missing much. Thank you so much for hanging out and coming on with the raid and showing all the cool stuff. I really appreciate it. This hug poo isn't for the redeem, it's just for me. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, John. Just gotta find the quick picture of Chris, I think his name is. Keep forgetting his name and I feel bad. Hold up. Gotta, oh, well, I guess you guys can see the Patreon. Um. <laughs> There you are. There we are. There we are. Just, just needed a quick reminder of what you looked like there. There we go.
What a cardigan boy. Oh, yes. I love that this is an ex like an extremely pastel person that I'm, I'm, I've decided to go extremely... <laughs> I've decided to go hard into the uh, yellow, co the orange coloring. I am very happy. <laughs> Every time I make it with hot, uh, hot chocolate with milk, it tastes weird. Weird. I always, I always like it with uh, milk. It's much more creamy that way. But I mean, everyone, everyone likes hot chocolate in different ways. I'm glad you're finally getting the hot chocolate you deserve, Koala. So pastel. <laughs> so tired. So pastel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, this, this is, this is sending me. I'm very pleased with this so far. I'm very pleased with this so far. All right. Dun, 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 ba, 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 We've got the lines down. We've got the base color down. Next, we just gotta finish it. <laughs> and that's next week. <laughs> Contrast is a beautiful thing. So beautiful. <laughs> Woo! We've got quite a- we've got a little bit left to do in terms of the line art just for the detail work on the trees. Melba! A bit in run. Hope you ha are having a great stream. Thank you so much for the hundred bits, Melba. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a great Thursday. Thanks so much for being here. Um, but yeah, we are, um... <laughs> this is looking very good. I don't know if Crow or Rainy are still here, but I hope you like this so far. I will tag you both in the Discord so you can check it out, but... This is looking great and I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> this is all 10 out of 10. Oh yes, oh yes, this is gonna look great. Well, with that, I think it's time to take a quick hug poo break while I set up our next doodle of the stream. I will be <laughs> drawing myself as a goblin in a yellow Star Trek uniform. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's set up face cam real quick and get that hug Pua going on while I set up snaz. Hello. Thank you so much for redeeming a hug Pua. Holding Pua on my lap has been truthfully so nice. File new. Up uploaded to general chat. Wait, the... Oh, wait, the edit? Oh my gosh, I would love to watch it. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm excited to check it out, Matt. Woo! I can't... You make so many clip edits of me. Just the... On Tuesday, there was a new gif of me. Now there's a new clip edit of me. You guys don't slow down. <laughs> Thank you very much for everything you guys do for me. I'm honestly very pleased with this. The contrast of the boy and the, and the dark orange and purple of it all is making me very, very happy. <laughs> this is looking wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Crow and Rainy. Oh, 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 we did so good today, guys. The puppers look so good. The boy looks so good. Oh my gosh, we, we, we did good. We did good today. Even the legs look muscular, but not in a weird way. High fives all around! Oh, I realize that I'm showing my face and hugging Pua and not showing you what I was doing at all. It's fine. It's, we're at the end of the stream. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I'll get the hug Pua in. We got the, we got, I've got the new, the new thing going on, but thank you so much for coming to the stream, everybody. We're gonna be doing one more, we're gonna do a little bit of a, a cool down quick doodle and then we'll be ending the stream. Thank y'all so much for everything. Mm. Mm. Pua, you're the best. The most huggable plushie I own. So sturdy yet so soft. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> High fives all around. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Matt. 
It's almost like we like your content or something. It's almost if. It's almost as if you like my content, which is a wild concept to me. Liking my content in this economy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. There are honestly... Ooh, okay, I need to check. We might have someone new to raid. Oh, yes. We're gonna have someone new to raid. And by new, I mean an old favorite. We're gonna have someone new to raid at the end of this stream. So make sure to stick around and go with the raid, because you guys are going to love who we are raiding. I am very excited for this. I am very, very excited for this. <laughs> okay. Someone just went live and it's gonna be great. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Let's get on to this, uh, doodle. Someone we have never raided before. Maybe not necessarily someone new. <laughs> I, th I think your content is terrible. Boom! Balance restored. Thank you, Koala. I can count on you. If I tell you who it is now, you guys are just gonna leave to go there. So I'm gonna wait. You guys, We're gonna go together. <laughs> I've had some caffeine and inspiration. Thank you. Alright. Let's get this doodle started, buds. Let's draw Gabri in a in a Starfleet uniform. Let's do this. In five, four, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yes, to answer your question, Danny, I'm just drawing me. I'm just drawing me right now, and then we will add we will add John Blinn for the continue. We can do the continue on Saturday, so it's in our collective memories. Yeah, I will need I will need your guys' input into what you think Gabri's station and or rank should be in Starfleet. Also, these goblins are going uh intergenre. We are no longer just fantasy. We are going intergenre here. <laughs> into the sci-fi these goblins go.
Now I want every genre. Every genre goblin. Scant and links for later. You want me to wear a scant? I mean, I'd be down for wearing a scant uniform. What was this? Who was this? Soccer Dance 17, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. Links for later. Oh my god, there's so many things in links for later. Holy crap, there's things, so many things in links for later. Behold the scant. I mean, we can do the scant. All right, let's get that scant on. Uh, Lieutenant Junior Grade Pips and Links for Later, one's black dot gold. Okay, I will, I'll look at it, and I will look at it in the thing. Okay. All 
All right. Let's finish up this cutie patootie. How much time do I have left? Ooh, I have 10 minutes left. Heck yeah. We can do this in 10 minutes, guys. We can do this in 10 minutes. I need to get that cheek right. It was very important to me. Sorry, I'm not reading. Sorry, I'm not reading chat, everybody. I gotta. We're cruise. We gotta cruise on this one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! This is so cute! Oh my gosh! This is the best gobbery doodle I've done. Thank you for the blessings, guys.
Since it's since it's since I know it's getting a continue, I am doing as much work as I can to get at least my line art good. I think I'm going hog wild on the line art because we did so much line art earlier today. I was like, I, we must, we must do good line art. Four minutes. try to make the glasses look good. This is always the struggle. Ah, curves. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. Time for coloring! <laughs> Three minutes, we got this! Little Gabo on the final frontier. Just doing her best to rise the ranks.
I haven't finished the hair yet. Shh. 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 Almost done. We're so close. We haven't gotten the most important part yet. Okay. Complete! Pencils down! Look at her! She's so cute! The cutest little Gabo! <laughs> Finish the hair! I will, Fidot! I will! I mean, I did! Oh my goodness! Thank you all so, so much for this. Just a little chibi gabo. <laughs> 6,000 points well spent! I'm glad! <laughs> I'm so glad! Yes, 100%. I know nothing about Star Trek other than what the stream punks uh, have told me. 100%. So cute! She's just so excited to go to space! Just so excited to go to space. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Circles, the artist's nemesis. Little Gabo in the Final Frontier. My mom distracted me, but I'm back for the coloring. First Gabo in Starfleet. First Gabo in Starfleet. She's such a high achiever. She went from a farm and now she's in space. What a good goblin. <laughs> oh, thank you all so much for coming to the stream today. This was the best note to end on. Um, we will get to, uh, we will do the continued quick doodle of our love, of the lovely Gabri. We will add John Blynn and hopefully finish up the coloring on Saturday. So definitely come back for that. Also, uh, the next stream that I'll be doing will be on Saturday. Uh, we're going to be continuing our two year stream anniversary bestiary beast. Um, I will be, we'll be continuing our cow wolf dragon. Um, and, uh, just having a good time with that. We're gonna hopefully finish up that sketch and finish up the, just some coloring and things. I'm just gonna keep working on it and see how far we get. <laughs> I hoping, I'm hoping to get it done before the end of the year, but that might be, have to be a lot of time offline rather than online, if we want that to be the case. But, that's what we're gonna be doing on Saturday, uh, which will be the last stream of the week, and then we'll be coming back for a full week of programming the next week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and then the week after that I'll be taking off because it is, uh, uh, it is, um, <laughs> Thanksgiving, and then, uh, yeah, and then it's nearly the end of November. It's, it, November just started. Where is the time gone? <laughs> Thank you so much for ha hanging out, Lemons. It's always been brilliant coming to draw along with. Of course, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm glad you were able to draw along. Small Gabo, big things to do. She's got a big destiny, this Gabo Brie. All right, let's get this let's get this saved and then we will uh, I will do my ending spiel and uh, we will go raid our mystery new uh, person. You guys will love it. I'm who we're raiding you guys will love. Yes, draw long vibes. My streams are very draw long vibes and I appreciate how many people are drawing along with me while I'm streaming. It means the world to me. First Gabo in Starfleet. Yes. Well, um, thank you all so much for coming. Uh, for those of you that are coming in and don't know who I am or came in with the raid and still lurking around and have no idea who I am and what I do, my name is Bree. I am a digital artist here on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You just heard what we were doing on Saturday. Um, I also uh, do lots of various other things. I have a comic. Um, that comes out every Friday. The next page will be coming out at midnight tonight. Page, uh, seven? 
Yes. Page 7 for regular people, uh, page 8 for my Patreon, uh, patrons, so make sure to, ch uh, if you want to read page 8 early before anyone else, make sure to back me on Patreon. Um, there's a lot of other cool things that you can do on my Patreon as well. Um, that's, a, that's the best way to support me, other than also supporting me through Twitch, um, and through Streamlabs donations, which, if you donate to me via Streamlabs, that bar will go up, and we will get closer and closer to expanding the Brigade Bestiary, i.e. having a, pretty much a beast mashup doodle stream, which is basically, like, our version of Pokemon, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun at the end of the month. That's what that bar is for. That is a great way to support me. There's lots of other ways to support me. There is, uh, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I post all of my art there. You can also buy a whole bunch of my merch. There is exclusive merch, uh, for the two years, my two-year stream anniversary that will be going away on December 1st. So make sure to, uh, get those, uh, things down below in my Streamlabs store. There is a link down there. I also have various other designs in Redbubble and Streamlabs and also on my Etsy. You can get prints and various things, but yeah, pretty much all of the things that I do are right below this stream. Uh, if you are ever curious about anything that I do and like my work, please consider following and following me and all of the places down below. I will see you all on Saturday for um, more beast shenanigans and hopefully finally figuring out what this beast's name is. I'll see you all very soon. Have a very good rest of your night and thank you all so, so much for everything. I love working on, love working on this chariot card today. We got so much line art done. It's looking amazing. And drawing myself as a Gabo in Starfleet is the best way to end the night. Thank you all. Thank you all. I love you all very, 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 very much. And I will see you all very soon. Please join that raid so you can go figure out who we're going to be raiding. I promise you guys will love her. Bye, everybody. See you on Saturday.